Just like last year, our community is going through a rash of carjackings, and the people stealing the cars at gunpoint are young. We've often wondered what is that experience like and what does it do to the victims? Here's Chief Investigative Reporter Berkeley Breen with a man who had a gun pointed at him. Fast, you know. It was a routine day for Dave Stafford. He was at a friend's house near the backside of Holy Sepulchre Cemetery. Standing in the driveway, he says he noticed two young people down the street. But the minute they seen us, their heads just snapped. Stafford yeah, says the pair walked up the driveway and asked for the time. They said it's a little after 5.30, all of a sudden, gun came up. I want this car in the drive. I want it right now. Just give me the car. Give me the keys. Stafford says his friend lunged at the person holding the gun and they started fighting. The other suspect tripped Stafford to the ground. All of a sudden I turned back to the right, there's a shovel. He was ready to hit me. I said, that's it. Take the car. He said, it's my car. Get off, get off the guy. Get off him. Take it. Seconds later, right there, grabbed him out of my hand, threw the shovel. He yelled to the other suspect, get in the car. And that was it. From the time they asked you what time it was, to the moment they're driving away with your car. How long does that take? I bet you not even 30, 35 minutes 30, or 35 seconds. This is how police found Stafford's car the next day. Two people were arrested, including a 15-year-old boy and a 20-year-old woman. During the carjacking, Stafford says adrenaline overpowered his fear. But then, as he's under attack, he remembered his friend Richard Shasha, who was murdered during a carjacking in Gates last year. And that was it. That's when I went to the Keys and said, here. As with most things, people say, that's not going to happen to me. And you probably thought that to some degree. Exactly. But, but it did happen to you. You're, all of a sudden now, I'm at higher alert. I'm actually more aware of what's going on around me. And it's, yeah, but it does. You know, but the main, main thing is anybody out there, you know, you hate to say it, but the summer coming, you got to give up your car. RPD says the 15-year-old was given a ticket and released to his family. The 20-year-old woman is in jail on $10,000 bail. David Stafford and his friend are so concerned about their safety, they asked me not to show the actual location of the carjacking. Brett? Frightening. Berkeley, thank you.